how would you say you evolved as a person, you know, in your career? Like, what, what changes have you made that you think are positive or that you think you could still work on? Uh, what evolved? Um, well, I feel like I've matured my attitude as far as working with the industry because there's a lot of fakeness going on in the industry that I didn't really know about. And I, I kind of learned the hard way, but I've learned to cope with it. And I just, I understand how it is because I'm in the industry now. So I just know how it is. Some people could be busy, you know, with, you can't respond all the time to people. You just got to try to understand that people are just working on them. And, you know, I had to just, you know, attach, latch on to that. So this is a question that I don't know, you don't necessarily have to answer it, but if you will, I'll appreciate it. So I know that you started, you know, Rich Crew alongside Spenzo. So how was the relationship? Uh, me and Spencer, we were good. So, are we going to be expecting a song from you two? Yeah. yeah. Fans really want to know. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been uh, hitting us both up about doing a song together. And, um, I mean, we, we just never really got around to it because we're both always working, like, real hard. But we're going we're gonna to make something happen because we know that the people are waiting on that. Um, what would you say are your views on the violence in Chicago? What are my views on the violence in Chicago? Yes. I feel like it's unnecessary because, I mean, it's kind of, music plays a big part in that. Like, if you really think about it, the youth are doing what they see in the music videos as far as what they wear, the dances they do, how they talk. I feel like if artists would just, then they are actually stepping it up, you know, it's, it's actually getting back to that, that dance phase back in Chicago because it used to be all violence and then, you know, you know, D'Lo and Art Chemo and all them artists, they came with the bopping stuff. A lot of kids bop now. Uh, my little bro Dex, he got the, you know, the all that going on. So I feel like it's actually toned, the violence is toning down, thanks to the music. So what do you think parents and, you know, older siblings, you know, black people in our community, our black leaders, what can they do to promote safety and to promote our community in general? Like, what can they do I mean, I, f I don't feel like they can promote that. It's just something that the kids, they're going to have to want to do that. And they just need some advisors to want to do that. They look up to us artists, DJs. You know, they look up to us about for that stuff. So I feel like it's up to us to really do that. I don't really think the community leaders can do anything. But they have been putting in that, you know, putting in work so they could make a change out here for the kids. So what message can you tell our inner city youth you know, all Chicago land youth, what would you tell them today as far as, you know, stopping the violence? What would be your personal message? I would just tell them to just stay on the right path. Don't don't get caught up in the, don't try to be who you look up to as far as music all the time. Because, you know, there are some artists who promote violence, but they make good music. And all the youth need to really do is they just need to be able to single out, you know, what's right and what's wrong. It's just like a common sense type of thing. Interested, like if you ever have the opportunity, would you be a part of a, I would say, musical celebration that promotes, you know, putting the guns down, stopping the violence? Yeah, I've been working on, on that anyway. I don't know if you guys know Y.I.G. He's over anti Chirac. I work with him on a lot of his events, almost every event, because I want the violence to stop. I wanted to go back to being able to go to the beach and just chill and without hearing gunshots and whatnot. So, would you consider yourself a positive role model for black people? Definitely. I've I've done um actual me, D Lo and Stunt Taylor, we've done a free school tour for like fifteen six schools in the city. Didn't ask for any money, you know, provided our own everything just to give back to the kids who don't, you know, who people don't really come back and do that. So we just you know, it was White Ice idea to do that. He put the anti Chirac um tour together. We talked to the kids, you know, tell them to stay on the right path. We let them know how we got to where we got to and what they got to do to get there, if that's what's something they want to do. So, so, could you tell us your views and opinions on the South Side versus West Side? <laughs> Is there a South Side versus West, West Side going on right now? Well, I would say yes. Just as far as what? I would, I would say as far as everything, as far as music, style, food, personalities. I mean, I was born on the South Side. Food, clothes... I mean, it differs because I feel like <laughs> I feel like everybody I wear is wear like Pellies and and Robins, like rhinestones and diamonds. I don't feel like we dress like that ourselves. But it's not a bad thing because that's just their style. They have their style and we have ours. 
I don't think it's a really big split though because I rock with a lot of people from out west. Like a lot of their promoters come south and do events and they don't have a problem. So I don't really think it's a big versus thing. If it is, it's like a social popularity type of thing. It's not nothing bad. So what you say about the music? <laughs> West side rappers, you know, South side rapper, rapper, like what would you say is the difference in the tone and the themes and the message behind them? I feel like the bopping that really originated out west, I feel like it should stay out west. I don't really feel like anybody out south should try to cling on to the bopping thing. And a lot of the drill artists come from south slash east, so I don't think anybody out west, like a bopper creator, should try to cling on to that. I feel like they should just, you know, everybody do their own type of music and just let the city build on off that as a whole. Would you come out with your own dance that represents the South Side? If I come out with a dance, it's not going to represent the South Side. It's going to represent the whole city. But I would do that. I would do that. Can you dance? No. I can just, you know, just, I'll just keep it simple. I don't really dance. I got a question. What's up? Now, Chicago has this, uh, this wave of music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's catching on these stage here in the league and it comes back. What do you think we got to do for it to stay here for us to artists? I feel like all the artists need to support each other because it's a lot of selfishness in, out in Chicago. For some reason, it's like everybody, like they'll shake your hand, but they, well, they feel like they're better than you. And I don't really know why they do that. I don't know where that started or anything like that. But if you look at it, a lot of the old Chicago artists, they, uh, they stuck together. Think about it. Kanye West, R. Kelly, Twister, all them created music together. If Chicago would stick together and do that, we would build because... If you think about it, a lot of artists from Chicago have their own little ladder and they're all pushing, going crazy, going crazy everywhere. Just think about it, all of them put that together. Like if you look at Atlanta, a lot of their artists support each other, work with each other. It's a few feuds out there, but they build their city as one. And people think moving away is gonna do something. It's, it's not, you gotta, it's, it's, it's where you started at. Like, that's just what it is. So if there were a Chicago rap and hip hop music festival, how many, you know, Artists that originated from Chicago, how many do you think would actually participate in it? As far as new artists? As far as new artists, old artists, up and coming artists, like how many, of course I would say up and coming artists would participate because they're trying to get the exposure, but as far as the new artists who are branching off, how many do you think would really participate in the concert to really say, you know, I'm repping where I'm from and not trying to, you know, just be all LA or all Atlanta? Yeah, I don't think any Chicago artists now, like recent artists, have a problem with doing that. I feel like they would come back because they, they, they do, those guys do enjoy performing. From the shows that I've DJed and performed at, they do like performing. And it's just, uh, only it, is, it would just have to make sense as long as it makes sense. I don't think any of them would have a problem coming back. Well, you see yourself in five years. In five years? I see myself. I might have to run for president because Barack got to get up out of there. No, I'm just play. <laughs> now, in five years, I see myself. Uh, I actually want to. I want to run my own label. Like that's really what I want to do. That's something. That's what I'm going to do. That's that's not even where I. I know for a fact that's going to happen. Like, there's no other way to even explain that. That's why I see myself in five years running my own label, pushing my own artists. You know, I'm going to still be doing my thing. I can I can write a lot, too. I don't know if a lot of people know that. But, yeah, that's where I see myself. Would your label be based out of Chicago? Definitely. Yeah. Because a lot of people, it's a lot of, it's a lot of talent in Chicago that doesn't get heard because of, like, because somebody's not popular. But that don't mean they don't have talent. I know kids that play the piano, and nobody knows them. But that's, you know, they can be, like, on an award show playing the piano or something, you know. There's, I kind of want to start a, like a big program as far as for people that don't have a lot of popularity, but they have talent. What's the word? 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 I'm stepping now. What, what, what's the word? 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 Hey, what's your time? See, I don't practice, but still my people.